hello my loves and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be showing you how I make my moist banana bread mm. if you want to see how I got this delicious moist banana bread keep on watching hello my loves and welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my easy banana loaf recipe this recipe is gonna come in handy whenever you have overripe bananas and don't know what to do except putting them in the bin all right I hope you enjoyed this recipe let's get started to start off you're gonna need two overripe bananas you're gonna need some baking soda some mixed spice and cinnamon some butter some banana essence some salt a cup of plain flour you're also going to need some sugar a bowl you're going to need your loaf pan and let's not forget our mixer all right let us get started so first things first you want to go in with your banana okay there we go like so and you just want to mash this okay now because we're going to be using a mixer you find that I'm not going to mash it too too fine because I'm going to mix it anyway but you want to be able to mash it so that it becomes a bit of a paste, okay? So just mash it. Now I'm going in with my mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can just keep on mashing with your fork. So now that our bananas are nicely mashed, I don't know how I forgot to go in with my eggs guys. I forgot to show my eggs at the start, but you're going to be needing two eggs. And I'm going to be putting both of these in together, okay? And make sure to remove the white bit from the eggs as I find this tends to make the cake fresh. Next up, we're going to be going in with our sugar as well as our butter, okay? Put the butter in there like so. Okay, then you also want to just get any excess from the sides into the mix as well. Okay, then we're going to mix that up for about a minute or two. You want to go in with your flour and I love to sift my flour whenever I am baking because I just find get rid of any lumps as well as gets a little bit of air into the flour. Okay, so just sift that through like so. That way any lumps will be left behind. See that? And mix. So there you have it all done and now it is time to pour it into our loaf tin. So for my loaf tin I like to go in with just a little sheet of baking paper on here like so because although this is non-stick I still find I have a little bit of difficulty getting my cake out of my um, loaf pan okay so I like to go in with this so that way when it's baking cold I can easily just lift it off okay so that is just my own little tip all right so now you want to go in and start pouring it in like so okay oh guys this smells amazing honestly it smells completely amazing okay so this is gonna fill up about half of my loaf tin and this is how I will know definitely it is not going to overflow okay now this part is entirely optional but it's just something that I like to do 
I have some crushed nuts here. This is pistachio and almonds. And like I said, this is optional. If you have a nut allergy or you're gonna be making this for your kids, you can skip this, all right? Also, I did preheat my oven to 180 to 200 degrees because we're gonna let this bake for 30 minutes, okay? But before I do this, I will just be sprinkling a little bit of my nuts on the top here like so. And entirely optional once more. All right, just sprinkle on the top like so. You don't wanna put in too much, but you just wanna make sure you cover the surface of your loaf. All right, so that is all done. And just to show you, it looks absolutely amazing. Okay, into the oven we go. So there we have it guys. My delicious banana loaf is all ready. I need to check to see if it is dry in the center. Okay, I'm going to be using a stick to do this. Okay. And you're going to prick onto the sides. It's dry. And you want to prick down the center. And it is drying. Okay, just to prick on this other side as well. And it's all drying, so our banana loaf is ready, so it's time to take out of the oven. So there you have it guys, my beautiful banana loaf. And I did go ahead and just put a little bit of melted butter on top. So as I was saying earlier, it's nicely cooled. So I will be putting it onto here like so, see it sweats because it's been cooling for a while. Okay, and then you just wanna go ahead and just take that off all right and it should come off so easily simply because you know it's baking paper okay just go ahead and lift it off put this side down here like so and just peel that off there you have it and then i'm just gonna go ahead and slice it okay See that? There we go. Okay. Okay, and you just want to slice this at least an inch apart. Okay. Three. And then we're just gonna do one more slice. that lovely and I just want to show you the texture see this is the texture of my banana loaf okay it looks amazing guys so there we go looking amazing as you can see it's nice and soft it's fully cooked okay guys so I also want to just break into the loaf so you can see the texture look at that that looks amazing see that looks amazing see oh my gosh that looks brilliant mm.